guys know this. Hello, people. I'm not the beautiful day. Yep. Hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good. We're excellent. What? Talking about Starfield here. Bethesda, Bethesda nailed it. <laughs> they made their presence felt with this one. Yeah, they, they nailed it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Starfield. Oh, yeah. PC. Xbox. Steam Deck. Uh, Neo One X GPD. Oh, yeah. Asos. Oh, yeah. It's coming to PC. You best believe it. <laughs> so, listen, listen to this. Uh, but, but Bethesda really nailed it, man. They nailed it. That the Xbox showcase was pretty was really good. It's pretty good. You know? um, they showed off a lot, but when it came for Starfield, man, <laughs> they went they went in depth. Yeah, they nailed it. Listen to this. I'm talking about st got two articles here from Tech for Gamers. It says here Starfield. Matter of fact, matter of fact, they even um they even working on an expansion already too, for Starfield already. Yeah. Yeah, they uh, they nailed it. Then on top of that, they um they uh released an Xbox One S with a one terabyte SSD in it. I was thinking they should have put a two terabyte SSD in it and call it a day. But but that's just me. <laughs> um, but other than that, man, they nailed it. Oh yeah. Listen to this. It says here Starfield requires SSD on PC and X for 125 gigs of storage. Uh, that's nothing. If you got a two terabyte SSD on your PC or the Steam Deck, you good. You, you can play that game. <laughs> anyway, says here uh, that's the game studio has finally revealed nearly an hour of information about Starfield, developer first new IP in 25 years, uh, shaping up to be an exciting project with potential of hundreds of hours of exploration, combat, and side content. <laughs> in addition to the new information, the developer has updated the game Steam page, revealing the system requirement for the for Starfield SSD mandatory for the title, and PC users must free up 125 gigs of space. Yeah, free it up, man. <laughs> it says here, uh, okay, why it matters. Modern AAA game has been um, expanded in size, and many recent games have also uh, recommend SSD. However, Starfield states it is mandatory suggesting that HDD users are out of L-U-C-K. <laughs> says here, uh, uh, minimum requirements, Windows 10, processor AMD Ryzen 2600, Intel iCore 6800, uh, uh, K, 6800K, uh, RAM is 16 gigs of RAM, graphics is AMD Ryzen RX 5700, NVIDIA GeForce 1070 Ti, DirectX 12, broadband internet connection, storage, 125 gigs, available space, additional notes, SSD required. <laughs> so yeah, then it says here, uh, on recommended now, that was minimum, recommended is Windows 10 with up updates, Processor AMD Ryzen 5, 3600K, Intel i5, 10,006K, 10,600K that is. RAM is 16 gigs. Graphics AMD uh, Radeon 6800 XT, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080, DirectX version 12. Broadband internet connection, storage, 125 gigabyte available space. And additional notes, SSD required, so yeah. It's all about these SSDs, you know, quick resume and all that old, all that little, uh, all that pretty stuff. Anyway, <laughs> says here, uh, Starfield features 1,000 plants. Mm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Get 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 your uh, get your waters, man. What's wrong with you? And your snacks <laughs> for this one. Uh, these planets are massive in size, and some come with their unique creatures and location. Mm. Yeah. So the game allow players to explore it to their heart's content. Yeah, it's all about open world games. Open world games are the best. Anyway, says there, uh, <laughs> and each planet is full with small details. Therefore, it should not be surprising that Starfield will take up 
over 100 gig of storage. <laughs> Upcoming games like MK1 also requires 100 gigs of storage. Similar recently, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth uh, will require two PS5 discs each, which can hold up to 100 gigs of data. Mm. Yeah. However, compared to these, compared to these game, compared to these games, Starfield scope is nearly limitless. Players can explore, form relationships with characters, invest in skills acquired, materials, do much more. Excessive storage requirements also mean that Starfield may take up over 15% of available storage on Xbox or Series X, 34% on the Xbox or Series S. If the game requires a smaller amount of space on the console, interestingly, Starfield system requirement claims that claim that SSD are required for the title. Previously, games like Cyberpunk 2077 recommended an SSD for optimal experience, but Starfield may be among the f the few games that requires this may suggest I mean re requires far faster storage. This may suggest that Starfield will will be unplayable on slower drives, but it says but fans will have to wait for more testing to reach an accurate conclusion on this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you steam you Steam Deck fans better get ready for this one too. Um <laughs> yeah, so uh, uh um one hundred um one hundred gigs of uh storage. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, these games are getting big, you know, so I don't wanna hear nobody complaining about storage storage size when we got hard drives that can hold these games. You know? Yeah. Starfield, uh, Bethesda delivered. They delivered on that game. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Based on the video they showed today, I was, was pretty big. Pretty, um, lots to do in that game. You know what? It reminds me of, um, Starfield reminds me of, uh, three games. Uh, Xenia Blade Chronicle X. Um, Anthem and Destiny. Those three games combined. You know, because Xenia Blade Chronicle X was, was was pretty big. And you get to run all over the place. You had you had freedom of movement and and like and like when you go up in those uh, areas where they build the robots, the scouts. Yeah. Anthem, that freedom of movement that you get. Oh yeah. And destiny, so uh uh, uh and, um Starfield remind me of those three games. It's like all it's like Basically, Starfield is just Anthem, Destiny, and uh, Xenia, Bl Xenia Blade Chronicle X. All three games in one. <laughs> yeah. And then you add space travel to it. And then, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, that's what Starfield is. So. They, they went pretty in-depth with it. And um, they um, they delivered, man. They sure did, you know. And um, they, uh, they, were, they weren't, um, what's that, holding, holding any punches, so to speak. They were... Uh, they were uh, um, letting their presence uh, felt in this game. They were making their making their uh, presence felt, and um, yeah, and yeah. Now they now they're gonna reap the benefits. Now they put the time in. Now it's time to reap the benefits, you know. <laughs> yeah, and then the Xbox uh, Series S now it has a one terabyte SSD, so <laughs> yeah. You have, um, and then you have the Series X to deal with, then there's PC, then there's the Steam Deck, then there's the Asus ROG, AMEO, 1X, GPD, oh yeah, oh yeah, they'll be, they'll be able to, they'll be able to enjoy, uh, uh, Starfield, yep, oh yeah, 125 gigs in storage, oh yeah, SSD will take care of that, no big deal. 1,000 planets? Hmm? Hmm? To go where no man has gone before? <laughs> Is there life out there? Hell yeah. <laughs> That's the question. But other than that, man, um, the game is good. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I'll keep you guys posted on it. But, uh, yeah. Um, 1,000 planets? Get ready September the 6th. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. 
nice dog and keep people again. Chris, those Star Wars and Star Trek thing. More Dark Side. Go.